In today's maths video, we're going to be looking at trigonometry and using it to find unknown angles. Remember with trig, we're talking about right angle triangles and you've got to be able to label the sides using these three words. So the adjacent side is always the side next to the angle and I'm writing adjacent here. The reason why it's not this side up here, from here to here, is because this is the hypotenuse, because the hypotenuse is the longest side and it is always opposite the right angle. So I'm going to label hypotenuse here. And lastly, opposite is the side which is opposite the angle, but I always tend to just check the other two off first and then add it later. Associated with labeling the signs, you need to know the rules, and those are the trig rules, and that is soccer toa, which is how I remember the order. And that states that the sine of any angle is opposite over hypotenuse, the cos of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the tan of an angle is opposite over adjacent. Don't worry if that's looking confusing. I, if I give you an actual example, it will become far more straightforward. So here's a classic example. We're looking for angle A, and we have been given two sides. And the first thing we need to do is label the sides. So the side closest to the angle will be the adjacent side. So I'm going to label that adjacent. The side opposite the right angle, the longest side, is known as the hypotenuse. And that means that this one over here, opposite the angle, is the opposite. So let's have a look at what we have. We've got a hypotenuse because there's a number associated with that. And we've got an opposite because the 7 centimetre is associated with that. So which out of these three up here contains an O and an H, so an opposite and a hypotenuse, and that is sine x equals opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to rewrite that here. And we're looking for the angle, so I'll leave that as x. We know our opposite is 7 centimetres, our hypotenuse is 14, so sine x equals 0 0.5. And now you need to be careful with your calculator. You need to do an inverse sine on your calculator, so it will actually look like this when you press the right button, 0 0.5, so inverse sine, 0 0.5, press equals and you'll get an angle, and I found out that my angle is 30 degrees. In our second example, we're looking to find angle F, so as with before, we want to label our sides, the sides closest to F will be the adjacent side, the side opposite the right angle will be the hypotenuse, and lastly, the opposite side to the angle will be the opposite. Writing soccer toe again, let's write out what they all mean. So sine x equals O over H, cos x equals A over H, tan x equals O over A. Let's underline what we've been given. Well, we have six centimeters associated with adjacent, seven centimeters is opposite. So we've got an O and an A situation, which means that this is the trig function we want to be using. So tan x is the angle we're looking for. O is 7. Adjacent A is 6. Pop 7 divided by 6 into your calculator to get tan x equals 1.16 recurring. And then the way in which you find x is by doing an inverse tan on 1.16. And you'll get an angle which is 49 0.4 degrees to 3 sig fig and try and make sure that it's a sensible number because if it looks silly it means it's probably wrong. Now we're looking to find angle H so again we're going to start by labeling our sides. The side closest to the angle is the adjacent, the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse, the last side is the opposite, then Sokotoa, sine x equals O over H, cos x equals a over h, tan x equals o over a. So what do we have here? Well, we have an adjacent and we have a hypotenuse, so a and h, which means cos x is the one we're after here. So I'm going to rewrite it, this time including the information we've been given. We're after the angle, so we leave that as x. a is 8.2 centimetres, h is 12.2. Pop that into your calculator and you'll get cos x equals 0 0.67213 blah blah blah. In order to find x you need to inverse cos on that number and try and keep it in your calculator so you don't have any rounding errors. 
and you'll get a final answer which is 47.8 degrees to 3 sig fig.